the grunt motherfuckers are here. <laughs> All right, good deal. Holy shit, I just started dating a new girl recently. Let you in on a little secret. Don't know how to say this politely, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. She has a lot of hair. <laughs> She likes, to, she likes to preserve her natural resources, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, every time this girl's naked, she looks like a member of ZZ Top. <laughs> every time I go down on this girl, I gotta leave bread, bread crumbs. Bread crumbs. <laughs> so I can find my way out. And I can never find my way out, because the crabs eat all the bread crumbs. <laughs> That's funny shit, people. I screwed it up with bread crumbs, but oh well. We all like a little mayo on our BLTs. <laughs> Saw Twilight. Anyone? Do we have Twilighters in the crowd? What team are you, ma'am? Team Edward. Team what? Team Roberts, not even a fucking team. <laughs> Is he in the Canadian Twilight League? <laughs> that, Edward, that's what I say. Edward or Jacob? Did you see? Did you see the movie? Did you like it? I saw it. I had to because I have a little girl. She wanted to see it. The critics say this is the best Twilight of the series. Yeah. <laughs> That's like saying this is the last day of my diarrhea outbreak. <laughs> Better, but still pretty shitty. <laughs> Team Robert, way to go, drunk. <laughs> I understand that, but it's not Robert, it's Jacob! <laughs> Nice little hat. Way to go, Billy Joel. Thanks for wearing the hat tonight. Oh, oh, I can't pick on the crowd. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a good Christian crowd. Team Jacob, right? I don't care. My daughter is a member of Team Jacob. That makes me a team member of Team Silver Bullet. And ain't no way no wolf is putting her god his goddamn paws on my little girl. That's all I'm saying. Plus, it's Teen Wolf. <laughs> Michael J. Fox isn't threatening and he has money. <laughs> and I'm sure my daughter can get power of attorney. Boo <laughs> oh, the big guy! Oh. I know it's funny, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I come on stage, I'm a little aggressive, I apologize. It's not your guys' fault, it's my parents' fault, because they fucked me up growing up as a kid. <laughs> Apparently I'm not the only one. Good for you, sir. Yeah, my parents gave me the world's worst last name. Honest to God, people, my last name is Buttland. <laughs> B-U-T-L-A-N-D, Buttland. <laughs> 45 years old and single because I can't find a woman who wants this as her last name. <laughs> Hard to be a tough guy when your name sounds like a theme park for Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> Come on, let's go to Buttland, ride the ass pirates in the Caribbean. Come on! <laughs> they don't stop there, though. Not these kids. They want to push the envelope a little bit, try to piss you off. Man, that's what kids do, man. Kids would find out my last name is Buttland, come up to me on the playground, run up to me, go, da na 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 Buttland! Buttland! Zap! Pow! Fart! You're laughing way too hard, sir. God bless you. Uh, they want to push the envelope, try to piss me off even more. Come up to me, ask me dumb questions, hurtful questions. Kids would come up to me and go, Dude, where exactly is butt land? <laughs> yeah, I tell them it's between Ball State and Uranus, all right? <laughs> right next to a little city called Taintville. <laughs> Don't go there, it stinks. <laughs> Hold on, I got a call. <laughs> These are fun. You believe all this shit up here, man. This is fun. I did say I have a little girl. 
That's a lot of fun. 11 years old, my little girl. Christmas came early at the Butlin household. <laughs> I was raised with three brothers and a mom more uptight than the Baptist church. So I had no idea how to raise a little girl. 11 years old, she comes out, she goes, Dad, Dad, it's that time. And I go, what are you talking about? SpongeBob doesn't come on for 10 more minutes. She goes, no, dumbass. I'm becoming a woman. Fuck! <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. All I can think to say is don't move new carpeting. <laughs> really? That one pissed you off, man? Thank that I didn't tell you what I really said. <laughs> I'll be back. I said I gotta get some duct tape and bounty. <laughs> The quicker plugger upper. <laughs> and I'm freaking out, right? Because my daughter's bleeding out like she's got Ebola, right? I don't know what's going on. I call my mom. Mom, what the hell is going on? She goes, PJ, shut up, calm down. We'll get you through this. This is easy. This is a no brainer. All you got to do is go to the bookstore and get her a book called Hey God, It's Me, Margaret. <laughs> The girls are laughing because they know. The guys are looking at me like I have a third eye right in the middle of my fucking forehead. And I'll explain it to you, dude, because my mom had to explain it to me. She goes, PJ, hey God, it's me, Margaret. It's a book about a little girl who gets her period for the first time, doesn't know what's going on. She talks to God, they get through it, happy ending. Perfect! I gotta get this book right, so I run to the bookstore which is fucked up because I have a car. <laughs> and I get to the bookstore, I go, Miss, can you help me out? I need a book. She goes, what do you need? I go, I need, hey God, it's me, Margaret. She goes, okay, let me check. And she looks at the computer and she freaks out. She goes, oh. she knows I'm living. She looks at me, looks at the computer screen, looks at me, and looks, we're all out. My daughter's still bleeding like a stuck pig. I gotta do something that's gonna get us through this, right? So I run through the bookstore looking for a book that's gonna help us get through this. I go up and down every aisle and I finally found a book and I think I did pretty good because I got her carried by Stephen King. <laughs> Which is a lot more realistic version of those six days if you think about it. Shit's flying through the air, people are fucking dying. There's a lot of blood. I love you guys. Uh, I gotta get out of here, I got another show in freaking June. I think that's when the next round is. <laughs> I'm taking you on tour, dude. <laughs> Fucking hey, you're awesome. And you, Team Roberts! <laughs> awesome. Remember that? <laughs> if only she would have said that, Billy Joel. If only she would have said that. <laughs> I, 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 I talk a lot about my family, and, 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 and I don't like to do that, because there's this is a young crowd. It's a college town, right? A lot of college kids here. Where are my... 25 and unders, 30s and unders, where are you at tonight? A lot of you. And maybe you don't, maybe you don't get that, my, my daughter jokes. Holy shit, my old dealer's calling. <laughs> so I have, what's that, ma'am? I said take the call. I'm, <laughs> I am partying with you after the show. Him and we'll take Team Robert just for grins. We'll do four lines and she'll entertain us. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta get out of here real quick, so I wanna do it. I wanna do an impression for the young people. It's a real quick impression. Here's my impression just for the young people. The old people won't get it. I apologize. I didn't get Bob Hope. Here's my impression for the young people. Hey you guys!